Hello internet world, what I've got for you today is a review of the Edifier Prisma Encore E3360 BT wireless and wired desktop speakers and these are available in either a black colour or the white colour that I've got here and they look absolutely fantastic very very sleek lines as you can see I'll show you the speakers up a little bit closer in a short while uh, it's a 2.1 system so it consists of two uh, bookshelf speakers or desk speakers uh, these output 12 watts of power and then we've also got a downwards firing subwoofer uh, which is a 5 inch unit and this outputs 40 watts uh, I'll show you this obviously up closer in a short while as well uh, before I continue the video, this is a live broadcast, so I do want to say a big hello to all of you who have tuned in live. First two in the live chat are Aaron Stoy and Patrick Sullivan. Oh, and S Baggins just joined in, and Dave's Physical Media, all in early on the live chat. Thank you very much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. If you're tuning in after the live broadcast, you can leave me comments below. And also, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe because I publish a new tech video pretty much every single day. Sometimes I go live as well and sometimes you get more than one video. So great value, con considering it's free, great value, apart from obviously your cost for your internet. Now, I will try and do this video without sneezing. I am suffering from hay fever, yeah, sob story. Please excuse the... Uh, sort of sniffing and sneezing. I've tried to do this broadcast for about the last, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes, and I thought I can't wait any longer. Uh, my camera is uh, on ready, my microphone's ready, and you're not gonna wait forever for the videos. So you're gonna have to put up with the sneezing. So anyway, let's get back to the actual product itself. So this is the Edifier Prisma Encore, so you, you'll find it by searching for that. It's also known as the E3360BT. And as I mentioned earlier, it's a 2.1 set. Now the speakers, so these are the individual speakers that output 12 watts each. I think they're a really nice design. Very, very nice. Obviously made primarily of plastics, uh, but a very nice sort of uh, curved contour to these speakers. A nice cloth grill on the front, and we've got sort of a, a felt type bottom rather than rubberized bottom, and then these plastic pieces just here. The only thing I would say with this, they're available in black or white. So the black version, fine. This is a captive cable, so it's fine to have a black cable out. This is just me being very, very picky. I would have liked to have seen a white cable on the white version. So that, that's just me. I think it would have finished it off very, very nicely. So obviously you get left and right speakers with the captive cables. The actual cables are very, very long indeed. Uh, I would say they're about a metre and a half, maybe almost two metres and these plug into the back of the subwoofer. Now the subwoofer is a little bit more weighty, so let's pick this up. Again, primarily plastic construction. There is a light that comes on on the top, and on the top this is where we've got the volume controls, uh, also the Bluetooth and the little power button just here. Uh, this is surrounded in a, an LED light around the top. And this sits on your desk like so, and the downwards firing subwoofer is tucked away underneath there. Again, obviously white to match the white speakers, uh, fadeable in black to match the black speakers. Comes as a set in a really nice retail box as well. The connections around the back, we've got the left and right speaker input, we've got three and a half millimeter auxiliary input, excuse me, three and a half millimeter auxiliary input, and also the input for the power supply, which again is included inside the box. And it looks really nice sitting on the desk. Uh, for the most part, when you get a subwoofer, you tuck it away sort of out of sight. I would want this in sight somewhere, so I'd want to accommodate this uh, where people could see it. I just think it looks really very, very nice indeed. I'll just show you it side on, actually. I'm not sure if I showed you the side profile. Very, very cool indeed. Really nice, high gloss, uh, high gloss quality plastics used here, and a really nice looking set. I'll tell you about how they sound very shortly. Before I do so, you also get this. Look at this for a cool design very very cool this just sits on the desk it's a little tiny remote control and here you can power the speakers on and off volume up and down and also control the mode between bluetooth and the auxiliary input so really nice remote control i like the design on that it's something a little bit different so before i come on to the sound let's take a look inside the live chat katie 2 is sneezing 
as well. I sympathise with you, I really do. We've also got Golden Solution saying hi and Krishna JM saying the speakers look beautiful. I think they do look the part, but of course with speakers it's very important, apart from the looks, that they actually sound good as well. So just to recap, we've got 12 watt output on each of the speakers, 40 watts on the subwoofer. If you get some nice separation between the speakers, uh, sort of either side of your monitor, or sort of, sort of about three foot a meter apart, then you're gonna get some nice stereo sound separation. Uh, great connectivity, of course, Bluetooth or wired, and they sound absolutely brilliant. I don't think that the bass is overpowering. Of course, this is a small subwoofer, so it's not gonna shift as much air as a, as a larger subwoofer when you look at some home cinema systems. This is a small, compact subwoofer, and it still delivers a nice tonal value to the overall sound. Taking away the sort of crossover frequency to the subwoofer is a really good idea because it allows the uh, bookshelf or desktop speakers to perform a bit better. And I think it uh, delivers a nice clear sound, very, very clear indeed. I tested these editing a few, few videos and for vocals it was fine, but when I played back some of the background audio tracks I've got coming up in some videos really soon, edited on the iMac behind me here, uh, that was the scenario I was testing these and the music sounded really very, very good indeed. They, they go plenty powerful enough, deliver a really nice detail and I think when this subwoofer kicks in, then you get that sort of depth to the music and it's just overall really good all-round performer. If these were just desktop speakers, desktop PC speakers without the Bluetooth, then I would say that I would recommend them purely because of using them on the, the desktop uh, on the iMac here to edit a video, they worked really well. But because we've got that added functionality of being able to connect a Bluetooth device so I can stream from my smartphone to these as well, that makes them a really great value proposition. They're from Edify. I've left a link to the Edify website down in the video description. If you've got any questions at all about these speakers, pop them in the comments section below. I've also left some handy links in the video description to where you can pick these up for yourself, so please do check those out. And just as a side note, if you do ever read the video description area, then I do have links to all of my Amazon UK affiliate sites. That really does help support the channel, so please do use my Amazon links if you can. It doesn't cost you any extra, the prices remain the same, just gives me a little bit of kickback to help support the channel. So that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching, I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that like button, and I'll see you all in another video very, very soon.